In this video, what I want to just quickly explain to you is when you want to cut up a swede, a good tip for doing so, if you're going to do it by hand, is to make sure that you've had the swede a few days from purchasing it and let it go a little bit soft on the outside. So when you press your thumb like that, you can feel it's a little bit squadgy. Not too much, otherwise it'll go off, um, go green mouldy. So what that does, if you try to cut it when it's too hard, it's very dangerous. So like this, for example, now it's just a little bit soft. You can kind of feel it if you squash it down. And just to, you can see I'm just using this knife. I'll cut the top, cut the bottom, and then I'll use a flat base for safety aspect. Now what I'll do now is I'll just cut the skin like this, sometimes just a halfway down, and they go round like that. But I sometimes go round the bottom as well like that, but you can't really see what you're doing like that. So you can just take half it off like that. You wouldn't be able to do it like this, as quick as this, if that swede was too hard. No way. So I'm just going to take off the little bits that I've missed, turn it over, you can see there what I haven't done. And I'm just going to go around there and take off this last little bit. Bit of greenery there. That's it. So when I'm satisfied, I've taken all the pieces off that I want. Go around the edge like that. So I've still got that flat base. I'll put all these peelings over there. Just another check round. Just a slither there I want to take off. And a bit of a greenery there. And a few spots there. So generally all over. It's not too bad. So what I want to do is create a flat base on the side. So I'm going to take that off. This is only the way I do it. If you want to copy it, that's fine. And now what I want to do is to take it onto the flat base there on the side and I'm going to cut through it but not right through to the bottom leaving about a centimetre and you might, I might have to use a bigger knife if the one isn't big enough for the swede right across should just get it like that, I'm not going right through as I'll show you in a minute and I use my claw my hand like that to hold it and then I'll put like that it's just getting a bit more difficult to go through I'm not squeezing it too fast because the blood too hard because the blade won't go through now that one's going right through right you see that part's come off now it doesn't matter I'll take that off now I'm going to put it on its flat base there and I'm going to, I might even just take that off and we'll go back to that in a minute. I'm going to put some slices through like this. You can see what it's doing, it's, it's holding it all together. And I could have added that to it. It's a bit of a tough part, is that one? Anyway, we'll do the same with that. Do it as a separate entity. And now what I do now is to get all these pieces together. If I hold that together like that, obviously being careful with my fingers. You see I've got all these small pieces like this then, nicely together. It's a bit harder here to hold it. You have to do it in two pieces like this. One there and one there. And then the last piece, again, I just run it through like that. Turn them all round. And then just chop the small pieces that hasn't gone through. You'll always get a few chunks like that. And then this last piece again, if you, if you put your chopping board to the edge of the work surface, it's a bit easier. Just 
so there we go all done as I say that would have been so much more difficult with the chopping board it's only with a, a swede that was hard it's actually very dangerous as well so it's always dangerous when you cut swedes even like this but I'm just showing you the method I use and why I do so um, and the, main, the main part is waiting for the swede to be a few days old after buying it till it goes a bit soft so I'm just going to put them in a pan and then uh, cook them and freeze them mash them add them to carrots whatever anyway I hope you liked that live demonstration it wasn't the most perfect but thank you very much for watching uh, if my video helps you that's brilliant do be careful when you're cutting any swedes it's extremely dangerous and make sure it's only for adults only um, and use a non-slip mat one of these aren't isn't so good really you want one with a good rubber bottom and uh, adult supervision if you've got kids doing this so okay thanks for watching bye bye